Hello there and welcome to the Bicycle Diaries. Today I'm out and about and going back in time. or another I find myself very close to the place where I once lived back in the day uh, and it holds a very special place in my cycling history because just the other side of that fence there was my back garden and the place where I learned to ride a bike. I was five years old uh, and my sister's friend, uh, a, a little girl called Soji who came from the Gambia, came around to play one afternoon and while she was there, she taught me to ride her bike. Now, obviously that was getting on for 50 years ago and I've ridden many, many different bikes since then. My cycling those days was just for fun and the bike was just a toy and I didn't really start to develop my love for real road cycling uh, until a few years later. What a coincidence it is to be back so close to where I used to live. Part of me would have loved to have stuck a camera over the fence and see what the garden's like now and maybe, just maybe seen a bike in there as well. But, uh, and somebody else lives there, so yeah, it wouldn't really be fair on them. So that's my little trip down memory lane done and it's now back to the real world. This is tough. I have to admit that I thought this week was going to be a bit of a washout as far as cycling was concerned. First of all, there was the weather, which was forecast to be absolutely awful. And then secondly, I was busy with one thing and another, so I didn't really have a lot of time to go cycling. And then thirdly, uh, I have actually been feeling a little bit under the weather. And as you can probably hear, um, my, my voice isn't quite right, indicating that there's something not quite right with my chest. Now, this is all stemmed from the rather intense spinning session that I did over a week and a half ago now. And uh, it's very, very frustrating. Basically, I pushed it really hard. Uh, and when you do that, either on a spinning bike or uh, on a normal road bike, you do open yourself up to a little bit of, a bit of an infection. You, you lower your immune system, and that's obviously what's happened with me. Now, um, historically, I have suffered with my chest, um, and it's one of the areas that I'm slightly concerned about. Um, I even think that I might have uh, some, some other complication, a bit like uh, exercise-induced asthma. So that's something I need to watch, but it's not going to uh, stop me from cycling. But then fortunately towards the end of the week um, I spoke to a couple of my chums and I managed to get out on the road and do two rides. Firstly on Saturday with my chum Paul uh, and then on Sunday I went out with another one of my cycling chums Curtis and we did a 40 kilometer route uh, in the uh, South Downs. So we did uh, one of Curtis's routes and we were doing quite a bit of climbing including quite a big climb up to a place called Mercury. Now I have to admit I certainly did feel that uh, I had been off the bike for a few days. Uh, the, the ride I did on Saturday was the first ride uh, since the, the intense spinning session uh, the week previously so that was about 10 days off the bike. Um, uh, to be fair it wasn't a majorly hard ride we rode from uh, my place out up to the top of Bevis's thumb and back which is only 20 kilometers uh, so I felt quite okay there uh, and then Curtis uh, and my ride on Sunday like I say was 40 kilometers but it was quite hilly and I did really 
feel that. Uh, I was kind of getting towards the, the, the my limit distance-wise, so 40 kilometers a year. Um, I, I would like to be able to, well, I will be needing to extend that um, because the Isle of Wight Randonnée was only six weeks six weeks to go yesterday. So uh, yeah, I really do need to start getting the, the, the longer rides in and that has to start this week. The other issue that's making life a little bit complicated is the knee pain that I've been experiencing recently. Now I seem to think that this all comes from the, uh, the, the bike fit on the Cannondale and I need to get that uh, a lot better before I think this knee pain is going to get any, any better. But I also think that the spinning isn't helping much, basically due to the actual spinning bikes themselves. Uh, long story short, there's no way of, of doing any subtle changes to your position. They're, they're very, uh, you, you know, it's like a centimetre at a time. And obviously that's not quite the, uh, the degree that you should be adjusting the bike position by. Um, if, if it was a bit more subtle, then I could probably do something a bit better, but they're not. So long story short, I'm going to stop spinning for a little bit uh, and instead I'll start going out on the road a bit more. Last week I talked about having a bike fit and the ball is rolling on that one. I've spoken to one of my chums who runs a bike fitting service so um, he, he's agreed to, to do a bike fit and hopefully we can make that happen in the next uh, few days or so. Uh, and interestingly enough I was also talking about crank lengths last week and I was looking at the crank lengths on the Cannondale and they were 172.5 millimeters and then I checked the crank lengths on all my other bikes and they were 170 millimeters. Now one and a half millimeters is absolutely nothing. Uh, you could even kind of compensate that with a different pair of shorts. It's so small. So I'm not convinced that um, crank length is the answer to all of my knee problems at the moment. Um, I'm, I'm very loath to go out and buy a shorter set of cranks uh, and, and them not be right. So I think, yeah, I'm going to have to do this bike fit, see what that throws up and take it from there. As I said earlier, the Isle of Wight Randonnée is rapidly approaching. Yesterday was Sunday, and that means that we have six weeks to go before the day of the ride. So with that in mind, uh, I really do need to start getting some longer rides in, uh, and I've promised myself that I will go out and do a 70 kilometer ride this week. Now, the last time I did a 70 kilometer ride was out in Mallorca, so that was getting on for six months ago now and uh, I've obviously lost quite a bit of fitness this since then uh, and consequently I have to admit that I am a little bit nervous about doing that kind of distance but fortunately I don't really have anything to prove so if I go out and do this ride and I start to get a bit tired I can just take it a bit easier and get myself back somehow. Once I'm back I can then recover and go out and do another ride hopefully uh, and the benefit then would be if I was to try and do another 70 kilometer ride A I will know how tough it is and then B um, it won't be quite as tough as the first time I did it it should hopefully be a little bit easier so are you training for a particular cycling event if you are please tell me all about it in the comments below if you found this film useful please like and share and if you'd like to get the most out of your cycling, please consider subscribing for my regular weekly uploads. Thanks for watching.